Whoa. Guess what you get? Get what you guess we get what we paid for with this thing, huh? I didn't expect that to happen. I could still wear it though, that's funny. Even though part of it broke off. Maybe I'll have to use like cement or something for this. Still, that fucking sucks. But at least I could still wear it. Add that to another one of my list of things to do. I'm so glad I got it. Clip as a backup here. I'd wear the clip, but it's frankly not as good. I'll try wearing uh, half this thing for now. If it becomes a problem, I'll switch. Lasted a good six months or so, too, didn't it? So that's fairly good, I would say. All things considered. I digress. Welcome everyone to this week's Wild Wednesday. We are once again playing Outward this week. Hey Katie, welcome back to the stream. Uh, my name is Lulz and I use any pronouns. You can call me whatever you like. <laughs> well, almost, any, almost everything anyway. Welcome back to Wild Wednesday. Thank you for joining to us or joining us today. For those of you here last week, I did get my ass kicked in a dungeon after defeating the Ghost Pass. I was running off a high and got a little too big for my britches, so to speak. I decided we spent enough time in Church and East, so I'm going to head back home, rest and recuperate, stack up all my monies, and head eastward. Going to go ahead and continue our Jedi Knight training, so to speak. Not actual Jedi Knight training, but you know what I'm seeing, right? This game shares a lot with Star Wars, if it was fantastical. Even got the dark side, light side dichotomy in here too. I cheated a bit and looked up online how to get rid of corruption, because I do not like e corruption. I don't even use magic yet, so it has, serves no benefit to me. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can uh, spend some of my hard-earned cash to remove said corruption. What time is it here? It's 11.36. In game. Uh, 11.36 in the morning. Let's go to bed for a little bit. Sixteen hours, just gonna go... Just gonna fall asleep for 50... You can sleep through most of the day. Because we've had a long day. Prior to the session, we had a really long day. Still kind of upset that my, uh... That my leap motion clip here snapped on me. I mean, it is 3D printed, so what do you expect, right? But still, that's kind of wild. It's a good thing I got backups. And it's a good thing this thing still works, even though it's only holding on by one arm. Hey, Frankenstein, how are you doing today? First off, let's put on some clothes, make ourselves look nice and proper, huh? What am I gonna wear this time? My trader garb is a mess right now. Ah! Thanks for resubscribing, Lenar. Always appreciate that. You used to be an adventurer like me? What happened? Did you take an arrow to the knee? I'm doing okay, Frankenstein. Thanks for asking. 
Uh, right, the stream started. My the uh, clip for my leap motion camera, the thing that controls my arm movements, literally just snapped. So it's holding on to my neck still because one of the arms is still good, but the other one snapped off. So I'm gonna try and fix it with glue or something. As soon as all this attacking finishes. But I also have a backup here. I have a literal clip here I can wear that might serve as a dutiful replacement. It's the hardest part of every session, deciding what clothing I'm going to start off the day with. Hmm. Quite the challenge indeed. Thank you for contributing to the uh, sheer heart attack challenge. We're getting pretty close to ending that one. I think I'm gonna be a no. Uh, I'm going to the marsh, right? Yeah. This is always so difficult. Eh. I'm gonna be a noble woman for today. Okay, what backpack am I gonna wear? Since we're just going out for a short period of time to do some errands before I go off into the wild blue yonder, I will not carry that much with me this time. Let me go ahead and just pick up some bare necessities and we'll get going. I'm gonna head and eat one of these as well. God, oh, breakfast is the most important uh, meal of the day, don't you know? I should refill up these uh, steins of water as well. Let's go ahead and wear a adventurous backpack. There we go. Oh, it's a dress. I don't think it looked like that the first time I wore this either. Did it change? Interesting. That's a zoom call panther optional. That's very true. Ah, uh, look at that view. I never get tired of looking at that sunset at sunrise. How do you screenshot again in GOG? Let me check. Let me check something really quick here. I literally forgot. Let's search the internet really quick. I must know. I must know this answer. I really should clean up my desktop as well. Hmm? F12. Oh, so it's not very different after all, huh? Never mind then. Alright. Continuing on. Beautiful sunrise. Look at that. You can even see the sun going up, huh? Four in the morning. I should go ahead. I forgot to bring some money with me. That's kind of important. Just, uh... Just a little bit of money. We sure have come a long way since the beginning of this game, let me tell you that. I do mean a really long way. From being destitute and homeless, to having a decent sum of cash, a bunch of equipment, decent health and stamina. First thing I want to do... 
Apparently, Athro does not like being all tapped out of because it causes some serious latency -ish. Ah, there we go. Alright, fine. Let me restart the game really quick. So I'm dumb. That's a really, I was informed that I should not be all tabbing out of because it does not like it like that. Hey Perquid, how are you doing today? Thank you for contributing more to the LOL Sheer Heart Attack challenge. I think we're at like 90% with that challenge, right? Let me see here. 90%! We're gonna make it. I wonder what game y'all are gonna make force me to play. Nothing too scary, I hope. Hmm, I can't wait either. Alright, continue. Con con continue. All right. I like how it even responded us right where we left off. That's really convenient. Hey there. Hey, help me. Let's see now. According to the, there it is. Forty-five silver each. Here, this is really expensive. Oh well, that's the price we pay to stay and stay nice and say so. It didn't let me buy it. Hey there. Come on. Alright. We need to use these potions to reduce our corruption meter. Alright, it's down to 6%. As it turns out, I did not need to buy both of them. So, I just wait. Well, we'll keep it around, just in case I end up getting corrupted again. Hey there. There's a corruption stat? Yeah. Um, last game, I was I did a stupid thing and I tried to fight a crab hor a um, shelled horror again. And even though I used up like 12 traps, it only brought it down to half health. So I thought I could just finish it off with my sword skills and then it killed, took off all of my health in one swipe. Two swipes actually, of its big meaty fists. And I ended up getting a corrupt. I ended up getting heavily corrupted, which started giving, which increased, doubled my hunger meter, and also made me take more damage from lightning magic. It was a very bad time. So I looked up how to deal with corruption afterwards. Yeah, it was very painful. Whoa! Why is it doing that? What's with this lag? So I guess it has nothing to do with, like, all tabbing out of the game, huh? That's just a... I wonder why it's doing that. That's so weird. Um... I think I did something dumb. And I, like, bought all of the the game and the, and the uh, DLC separately. And then I found out afterwards that I could have just bought them in one pack. But I think this is the definitive edition I'm playing right now, isn't it? Let me see. How can you tell? Like, will it say it's somewhere around here, or...? I check GOG to see what edition I have of this game. Really quick. Um, store. One moment, chat. It was on Steam. But, uh, no, I got it on GOG, since it was on sale. 
You can redeem a free digital copy of Outward Definitive Edition. Let me see if I got that. Maybe I got it to you on GOG. I mean, I figured it was the same thing, right? As long as I don't need to restart my save, which I've spent over 47 hours on so far, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, no fucking way. Okay, so Outward Definitive Edition is on GOG right now, and it's saying that I can purchase it for 100% off at $0 right now. So let me go ahead and get that right now. Pay for your order right now. Cool. Pog, indeed. Order completed successfully. Outward Definitive Edition. So, what's the Definitive Edition do compared to the uh, regular edition? Lots of things. Is it going to keep my save from the uh, current one? So that'd be really poggers if it did. So I don't need to restart from scratch again. All right, let me check right now. I let me check right now actually. To see if that's the case. Five months ago. Oh, can you tell us if our current saves will be compatible with DE? Save files won't be compatible in part because of stash change. Oh. So it is in fact possible to move your save over from the regular editions to the definitive edition with a little bit of coding. Oh. So you can do it, but no, there's they don't have any idea if it'll break anything or not. Ow. Thank you for the three redeem Frankenstein. Always need to be kept up on my toes. Imagine the joy you'll experience losing all your money in a business venture all over again. If I didn't already spend like several hours playing this the uh, original version of Outward, I would totally hop on this like right now.
unless I could find a very a uh, reliable way to move over the saved files because you lurk in the shadows reading the throw shit. It seems to be the curse of all of us YouTubers. There's always a Frankenstein's monster waiting in the background. This guy here is complaining about DE not being free, but I got it for free on GOG. Oh, so it's a new time, new uh, the new players that have to get it. All right. So it's really possible to save your home in five days? It's totally possible, but only if you've played the game before and you know how to make money really quickly. A save transfer mod, huh? Thunderstore.io How to use Start the game. Press the migrate saves button at the top left of your screen. Restart the game. Your old save should be migrated. Do not delete the vanilla saves from AdWords save games folder. If you already have migrated and want to re-migrate, you will need to delete your migrate serves first. This is interesting. I've never heard of Thunderstore before. It's Thunderstore anyway. Is this like Nexus mods? Or is this only a mod for AdWord? Oh. So this is a this is like a uh, modding website for AdWord. Okay. That's interesting. This mod requires the following mods to function Bipin, XPEG, Outward. Defantive is a re-release that overhauls many systems. The files are not at all compatible. Have to make a brand new character. The games are too different. Hmm. Lost everything in my house dashes. That would suck, actually. I'm kind of worried now, too. Um, I didn't install the... I did not install... Hmm. One moment, chat.
And we are back. Sorry about that. I had to do something really quick. Um, that involved briefly shutting down the stream. But as far as I can tell, this might actually end up being a pain in the ass. I think we're just going to go ahead and continue playing with the uh, current, with the uh, current version of Outward, unless something breaks and I cannot continue playing it, just because I don't know what they change to the game to well we could look it up really really quick first actually Probably not, unless they really improve things like remove some of the bugs, uh, improve the graphics a lot better or something like that. It's not just a visual overhaul, it's an, but naturally combines new mechanics and features from Outward and both DLCs. The Soroborians and the Three Butters to make it feel like a brand new experience. Besides the new weapons, dungeons, and DLCs, unique mechanics, you can also expect quality of life. Did this just release or something? I wish there was an easier way to do this. No changes to houses. Now this is not really a problem, honestly. New sorting, being able to see your alchemy and cooking recipes anywhere is great. Neutral, Caldera is a lot less... Yeah, doesn't seem like there's anything that interesting after all. So, who knows? Who knows? Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Sorry for the delay chat. And here we go.
what were we doing again? All right. I mentioned that for today's stream, we're going to be doing, we're going to finally leave the area of Chersonese and head back to the marsh. I have decided, I think I've collected enough money at this point to go ahead and continue my training. And then after that, and then after that. Need to get some money too. Don't really need this anymore. We jamming. Um, the marsh has a lot more difficult enemies than some other parts of the game. I'm not sure how difficult it will be now since I got much better equipment than I did before, but it's kind of sus still. Let me check my quests really quick. Acquire mana, golem scraps, and berg, manticore tail, red idol. I wonder if I'm strong enough to actually beat this quest, the red idol quest. Hey Steel, how are you doing today? Hey Pastel! Welcome to the stream, you're just in time. We uh, kind of, I kind of had to end the stream a couple of or end the previous stream like 30 minutes early and then restart the stream. So you're just in time. Thanks for contributing to the sheer heart attack, Pastel. Ow! And thanks for throwing something at my face, Frankenstein. Are you just going to keep doing that every time you have enough uh, channel points for 95% complete. Oh my goodness. Another thing thrown into my face. Thank you, Pastel. Uh, need my daily abuse. Second donation to the Silver Slums. Ledger to Levant. Need to go to Levant to deliver a business ledger. Already did these, so don't need that anymore. Alright, enough fooling around. I'm gonna bring all of my money with me this time. Oh, no fucking way. The community challenge is completed. Fuck. Alright, chap. So, for those of you who aren't in my Discord yet... Well, it doesn't even need to be in Discord, it can even be here in chat. Here's what we're going to do. Now that the uh, community challenge has been raised, it is time for y'all to vote on a horror game for me to play. As you... Yeah. It could be literally any horror game, but I'm going to put it up to a vote because there are many horror games to play. Um, go ahead and post them here on the Discord or on or on the Discord or on the Twitch channel or Twitch uh, comments Twitch channel mods. If you thank you, <laughs> thanks for hitting beating my head over, over beating me over the head with a beach ball. Mods, if you please go ahead and start uh, collecting the names of the games that are going to be suggested. I will make a Twitter poll. To further vote on what video game, on what horror game I will need to play, I do not. Mind. It could be literally any horror game. I could even just I could even buy a horror game off Steam or GOG if necessary. And I'll get to playing that for uh, next stream. I don't know what day I'm going to replace that or if, what day I'm going to replace the stream with that horror game, but it might either be, uh, it might most likely be Monday since I don't. I kind of got the impression that people aren't very interested in watching Metro or matching uh, Anna Mutation. Them. Dead Space One. I actually do have Dead Space One, and Dead Space. Even though I've never completed any of the Dead Space games, Dead Space is probably one of my uh, favorite modern horror games from Electronic Arts. Part of the reason I didn't play through it yet is because I hate Electronic Arts guts. I have a copy of it because it was gifted to me. Darkwood. Oh, that's another good one. I also have a copy of Darkwood. I don't know what Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion is. We got two votes for Dead Space right now. Uh, look, uh, it's modern to me. <laughs> I know it's not exactly a new video game, but... 
modern to myself, I should say. Let's at least bring the bow and arrows with us, I guess. Do I want to wear the cobalt armor or the pathfinder armor? As much effort as I put into making these blue sand boots, I might as well wear them, you know? Which means we'll also have to take this. And we'll have to take the big-ass trader backpack as well. So I can carry all my garbage with me. You finished it a few months ago, actually. And frankly, it was a very good experience and a lesson that horror games don't need mud jump scares to work. Oh yeah, for, um, for a game put out by... Electronic Arts. It was quite good. Unfortunately, uh, that studio no longer exists, I believe. So, you know. Do no fall of their own, of course. Yeah, this role doesn't really exist anymore. Doesn't really exist anymore, unfortunately. How do I do this again? Unequip. There we go. There we go. Uh, unequip that as well. Let's see now. What am I bringing with me on this journey? Arrows check. Or at least bring two, two sets of arrows. Maybe three if I really want to be careful. Uh, chat, do you think I should go with sword and shield this session? Or should I use my uh, continue using the double-handed sword, double sword? There's a remaster coming? That's cool. Another good time to start it up and attract peeps. Sure, I could say leave off uh, playing Dead Space until next year. I don't have any intention of quitting VTubing anytime soon, so... That could work. These astral potions are probably going to come in handy once I get to uh, become doing the Jedi stuff. Chat, don't let me forget. I need to. I do need to bring my flint and tinder with me because I always forget to bring that for some reason. And then I'm up Shit's Creek as a result. Where we're going, we don't need a cold first tent, so we're gonna bring the luxury tent instead. We're actually not gonna be staying in the marsh for very long. Because from here, from the marsh, I need to go back to Levant and uh, complete some quests there as well. Bring all my burnt potions. Don't need this because we won't need to recover from the cold anytime soon. Always need to have at least one thing of needles tea in case I fuck up somehow. This returns stores burnt health, which is always needed. Always need bandages. A bunch of these rags in case I need to fuck someone's shit up. I no longer have any fire uh, thing bolts. But I do have some bolt rags here. And these are some really high-end varnishes.
Since we're going to be traveling to a new location, I always do, I do need to have some rations with me to spend on that trip. I don't know why, but I always forget to bring a cooking pot with me as well. Where is my cooking pot? Screw swords beat them over the head with a hammer? I don't have a hammer with me though. I have a pick- I think I have a pickaxe still. Nah, I don't have a pickaxe either. Where did all my pickaxes go? I might need to grab one really quick underground. Before I leave. Because you just know I'm going to be mining the shit out of everything. bring some meat stews with me as well. Hope they don't spoil before I get to use them. Bro, where's my cooking pots? Where did they go? Am I blind? Do I... Am I missing something? I literally do not know where my cooking pots are. Maybe I left them somewhere and I just forgot. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll just have to get some new cooking pot. That happens. Oh, Leo Div, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Lull's time. I'm Lawler Hicks. I escaped BBS ship poster our ship poster AI at your service. <laughs> First world adventure problems, too many things. I know, right? All the things. <clears throat> All of the things. Oh, you know what I just remembered I should probably be doing? I should totally be making replacement... Uh, replacement uh, traps for all the traps I end up using up on that horror, on that uh, shelled horror, which didn't go anywhere. Uh, this is all I need to make tripwires. Oh, I need wood. Alright, let's get some wood first. Just gonna casually deforest the trees outside my home for wood. It's raining outside. Alright. How many traps do we have now? 14 traps? I think that's pretty good for now, right? Do I have any more? I have... Let's see if I can make... So I can't rip apart the hide? And turn that into cloth? That's stupid. It's a pleasure. I was talking about games with a good friend of mine. I wanted to look more... About Outward, I wanted to see how handsome this YouTuber here was. Greetings, greetings, I'm here to learn and see what this game is about. Oh, is that so? In that case, I better put on a good impression. This is Outward. This is a game where you start off the game having been shipwrecked because of the antics of your dumbass friend, Yazan. Because you have a blood price on your family, you're immediately in danger of being kicked out of your home and extorted for money, so when you first start off the game, you have to go out and make some money to pay back your debt. Uh, about 50 hours ago, I failed to do that, so I was actually homeless for a good 20 or so hours of the game until I made up enough money to buy my home back, which is this broken down lighthouse. 
I have spent a great deal of time burning this through this entire map, finishing quests, and I think it's about time to head back to the marshy area, to the jungle area of this game, to continue my training on becoming a Jedi Knight. I've been avoiding learning magic in this game for the longest time, but every single outward player I've talked to so far has told me I should invest in it, I should become a mage. And ever since I found a, I found a teacher that actually teaches you an ability which pushes people away, which is basically force push, right? I decided to take them up on their advice, and I think I will now. I may consider becoming a mage after all, if only to learn force push. Um, for now, though, I'm going to continue learning some other martial arts skills, and I need to uh, acquire better gear because I've reached another cap. Where I reached another point in the game where I cannot proceed with defeating enemies without getting better equipment and getting better skills. And I'm about to head out on a journey, and getting onto a journey is actually quite dangerous in this game, so you always want to carry appropriate equipment with you, or craft appropriate equipment. I have many reserves, thankfully. I'm almost out, and I've pretty much just been crafting these things to carry with me, which include bandages, many, many traps, and also a lot of spikes to use with said traps. Actually, I should remember to do that. And with that out of the way, I think I got plenty of arrows. I could dump the rest of this in my... Uh, Put that there. I got a clip and this sounds so awesome. You got a clip? Uh, a clip of what? Did you mean you clipped me so far? <laughs> I appreciate it. Force pushed them off cliffs. Yes, exactly, Anarth. I think I might have to resort to such measures soon enough. Um, I also can't decide between using a two-handed sword this time or going back to a sword and shield because the marsh has dinosaurs in it. Jurassic Park style, and they are quite unfriendly. Um, Frankenstein suggested that I go ahead and use a hammer, but I don't have any hammer weapons with me. The closest thing I have to a hammer weapon is a pickaxe, but I don't have a pickaxe right now. I think I sold it, or I might have torn it apart from materials. So I actually have to go get a new one. I also need to buy a cooking pot, because for some reason my cooking pot is missing. And that's kind of important. Should I bring, I'll bring my last health potion? What the hell? Do I even have the materials to make more health potions? So I probably should. I guess not. Hmm. Alright. Uh, you can do multiclassing more freely in this game? I suppose so. I mean, right, uh, this whole game I've been basically using bows and arrows and also swords and shields. Um, when you become a mage in this game, you have to give up some of your stamina to replace with mana, but otherwise there's nothing really stopping you from using magic and swords at the same time. But also, in order to get skills and stuff in this game, you have to go to trainers. And, in order to, and when you go to trainers, you have to use a breakthrough point in order to learn more specific, more powerful skills. And you only get three of those per game. So, you do get hard locked, but um, there's otherwise a large variety of stuff you can do in this game. For example, uh, let me go over here to the trainer that lives in this town. Amber, my friend. Amber, Curious. my friend. Amber, my friend. So, if I talk to this person, I could learn Spellblade's Awakening, which turns me into a Spellblade, spell which allows me to learn these abilities, right? But, you only get three breakthrough points, so if I use this, I'll only have two left I can use the rest of the game. So, you have to be very careful in which one you decide to choose to use. I'm tempted to use this one because it gives you extra health, salmon, and mana. But the reason I'm saving is because in the... In the um, town that's in the marshlands, there is actually a skill that you could use there, which gives you a lot of more martial train or combat martial training type things. And I have already decided what I'm going to use that. All right. I use one of my breakthrough points for that for sure. I'm just converting my silver into gold, so it's easier to carry.
I should buy a cooking pot first before I spend all my money. I really don't know what happened to my cooking pot. I don't know if I lost it somewhere or what. It just cost 20 silver anyway. Alright. Is there something you need? So... Okay. Also need to get to drink some water as well. Let me do that after I talk to Helmy one more last time. Hey there. Okay. How can you share your clip here? Um, since you already clipped it, all you have to do is copy the clip in the same window that you took it in. And then you can just post it here and said we'll share the clip. Uh, that's weird. Did it get blocked? Hmm. Mods, can you check really quick? If you please. Something went wrong? Oh. It's possible the clip glitched or something. Because it shouldn't be saying that. It should just let you, like, copy and paste it as easy as you please. Fifteen gold bars. Two sex. <laughs> Take your time. I'll give you an extra sex if you prefer. Why? That's wrong. I'll give you an extra sex if you hurry. Storm notes just landed. Oh. Someone joined our Discord. Thank you so much for making a horror games channel. <laughs> Sent in Discord. Oh, in the clip section. Let's watch this really quick. Ah! How did I make a fool of myself this time? It's a pleasure. I was talking about games with a good friend of mine. I wanted to look more about Outward. I wanted to see how handsome this YouTuber here was. Greetings, greetings. I'm here to learn and see what this game is about. Oh, is that so? In that case, I better put on a good impression. This is Outward. This is a game where you start off the game having been shipwrecked because of the antics of your dumbass friend, Gazan. <laughs> well, I'm glad I made a good impression on you of the video ga of the uh, game so far. Uh, hopefully that good impression remains because this, I will say, I certainly do uh recommend heavily recommend outward it is a very janky game but it's a very fun game i'd always describe it to people as basically being um elder Rose, elder scrolls skyrim with a lot of immersion mods and not even a fraction of the bugs that skyrim still has so totally totally suggested for sure highly suggested and you will soon see why it's so heavily suggested uh, but first, I must... I'm doing a few errands here around town before I leave on my next journey. You're currently downloading? Okay. I was going to say that um, it goes on sale frequently. They just released the Definitive Edition, which I was trying to make work. But unfortunately, it will require me to either do some funky stuff with my save files or to start from scratch. I'm already 57 hours into this game, and I really do not feel like giving up my save file at this moment just to start over. So I'll have to check out the Definitive Edition later. But the current edition as it is, is quite, is... Oh, thank you for the sombrero, Luke. How you doing? <laughs> All right then. If I recall correctly, the free pickaxe should be right here. Take the mining pick. Thank you. 
I could have gotten a mining pick from here too, I guess. And some free salt. Always need to bring salt with you, actually. That's very important. I don't know why I brought that. I don't need to know how to learn how don't need to relearn how to make gobby jerry. Godberry jam, but whatever. Take some bread, always. Use improvised roll, no. Always need a torch though. Take the old lantern. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Steel, thank you very much for doing that, by, for uh, making the horror games thread in the, in the Discord, by the way. Ah! Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. We have right now. I got some delicious purple drank here. <sighs> 60 milligrams per packet. 60 milligrams of raw caffeine. Her purple drink. All right. God dang. Sixty milligrams is not that much. It's about the same amount as a Mountain Dew, more or less. They call you Casanova Sombrero. What else did they call you? Let's see, gather fish. Fishing harpoon is badly damaged. I'm quite a weary game. That's fine though. I can always get a new fishing harpoon, so I'm probably just going to toss this one after I'm done with it. Wow, that's really badly damaged. What the hell? <laughs> How much damage does a pickaxe do anyway? 17? 25 impact? That's not that bad. As far as weapons go. Can you sail at sea? Uh, not as I've found so far, to be honest. But there are a lot of look. But most of your look. Most of the places you'll be going will be on foot. To be honest. <laughs> oh, the graphics are not just the best thing in this game. The music is superb. In fact, I originally skipped over this game, but until I found out that the ending music of the review I was watching was actually from Outward. I've burnt up a lot of stamina running around too. I wonder if you, what you're supposed to be doing is to be running around... It was to keep your armor and stuff in your backpack and to run around in your normal clothes. I mean, that's what an adventurer would do, right? No one really runs around in a full suit of armor the whole time, right? But this game also generally prevent tries to keep you from bringing too much garbage with you you broke the throw something redeem button it's probably just glitched <laughs> it happens a lot unfortunately you always got to make food for the journey you know Ow! Thank you for th thank you for throwing a beach ball at my head, Steel. <laughs> okay. So, we're about an hour into the stream. What's today's plan again? Oh yeah, go to the marsh, 
learn jujitsu from the uh, holy people there. And then... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to Levant today. We're going to try and go to ba go back to Levant, finish up our missions there, and then join the Hero Nation. Like I keep saying that we're going to. Before I get distracted, we do another, yet another side quest and do literally anything but. Sound like a good idea? Which means we're going to have to bring the uh, hot weather survival clothes. It still interacts with someone like me or you, me. So it still interacts with someone like me or you. You're not that holy of people. <laughs> I'm not a very holy person now. But the reason I say that is because in the lore in the game, um, basically the holy nation lives over there. All right. So here is the problem. This is why I try to pack light. Um, this weighs a lot. All the stuff I bring with me. All the mini traps, the equipment, the weaponry. And just think, I didn't even equip my like primary weapon yet. Move to bag. It's quite frankly too much stuff to bring with me at any one given point. 87 pounds worth of stuff. He's only got two usable holes, so not that... Uh, shut up! <laughs> he only as holy as Minecraft mods can get. Minecraft mods? What's that have to do with anything? Uh, am I missing the joke? <laughs> Has to do with everything, huh? Do you tell. Do you tell. I should probably bring a torch or, or a torch with me as well, huh? Oh, I should bring these ice, ice flame torches. I almost forgot. Those are kind of important. Very important for not dying in this game. Vandeville prison keys. Montcalm key. Prison key. Sturzo town key. Bandit camp key. Oil. A cold stone. Alchemy kits. Don't really need those. Unless I'm making, you know, a bunch of... Yeah. I'm gonna make some more potions before we get going here. Do I have any... I do. Okay. Those are about to spoil too, so I better make use of them before they do. Ochre spice beetles. Do I have any weather defense potions left? I do. And if I recall correctly, that guy wanted alpha jerky, right? Okay. Bring the alpha jerky with me. I hope I don't accidentally eat it. And the meat. Go ahead and bring all the meat stews with me as well. Is it really already dark? I spent the whole day just wandering around town doing random stuff. That's how it goes sometimes. Alright. We haven't even left town yet, and I still have so much left to do before I leave town. 
Bring a ledger to Levant, which is the... Okay. Scarlet Lady. The Face of the Ancients. Acquire mana from Conflux Mountain. So realistic. I know, right? Can't get more realistic than this, really. All right, I think I am carrying too much food, or carrying too carrying too much with me right now. At least can I at least put the food away so it doesn't spoil while I take a sleep. There's not really any places to fish in the marsh or in the desert. But there are plenty of things to mine there, so I'll carry those with me for sure. I'll bring two water skins with me to the marsh. Okay. Normally I take everything off before going to bed, but we're not going to this time for the sake of time. Um... Going to go ahead and equip the bow so I can repair it in the evening. What else do I need to bring with me? Because the marsh is such a pain in the ass, I'm going to go ahead and bring a sword and shield for once, since I have not used the sword and shield in a while. I'm going to be using the crimson shield here. And I only don't have any short sword steel or short sword skills yet for whatever reason. I only have my um, axe skill from the beginning of the game. So definitely going to use that. That needs three repairs. Okay. Go ahead and spend a couple hours repairing, and the rest will be for sleeping. Okay, what time is it in the morning? It's four in the morning, chat. Let's stop by the water place. Well, no. First, we need to bring the food with us. You actually need rations to travel to different locations in this game, which is why I need to shoulder the burden of carrying all that, all those rations. Bring all the meats with me because I'm going to be needing that. Where'd my rations go? There they are. 30 of those. Quite heavy. Alright, let's go through the checklist before we leave. Water skin, check. Arrows, check. Sword and... Our sword and... Axe, check. <sighs> Skill A. Okay. Really wish I had more skill slots in this. Oh no, if I if I, if I put it there, I'm going to accidentally press it all the time. That's probably a terrible idea. Instead, I'm going to put this is going to be health potions. This one is going to be that skill. Okay. This one is going to be a 
Brace. No, actually, this is going to be this one. Here's a force world problem for you. I have too many skills and not enough skill slots. This causes cripple on people. That's very useful. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. Five in the morning, chat. Let's get going. Well, it's while well, the day is young. Hot weather clothes, weapons and armor check. Thanks for regulating my the temperature check, lighting check, food check, alpha jerky check. That's for a mission. Traps check. Tea check. All right. It's go time. Another beautiful morning in Serzo. How much room do I have in my... Ye gods! I have next to no room in my backpack now. That's how it is, I guess. Alright then. I'll just carry the run around with the bow and arrow. Here we go. Entering Tersonese for the first time for those of you who are new to this game. We are here. We are going here. It's already a venture and a half. I haven't been back to the marsh in a long time, you know. I said it last time about going back to Scherzo, or to Chersonese. It had been a long time since I've been back to Chersonese. You don't want to sprint too much or you burn up too much of your stamina. Of course, I'll be back here soon enough, so. Did I forget to loot this guy last time? I'm kind of surprised to see him here. I'm gonna tear apart his shitty machete into pieces there. Let's make some more bandages. Eh, who needs a ship anyway?
What else can we put in our pockets, huh? The health potions, for sure. And the bandages. Alright. Lightening our load just a little bit. Some of this, uh, for restoring burnt stamina. Alright, let's go. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for neighbors. Won't you be mine? Hmm. Is the game too soft for anyone? Should I increase the volume of the game? Let's do it a little bit. So I know the music can get fairly loud sometimes, and I don't want the music to like overdrown me, as it has done a few times before. There we go. Much better. I think that's like perfect, actually. I never get tired of listening to this soundtrack. Thank you for the head pets, Frankenstein. Let's see now. I think we're going the right direction, chat. East, uh, southeastern direction is where we need to be going. It's 8 in the morning, but we are right around here or so. So we should, we're making good time so far towards our destination. Always gotta slow down a little bit from time to time. I wonder how much it costs to actually buy one of the uh, houses in town after I joined the uh, Hero Kingdom. Following the holy path towards our destination. It's a pretty nice day today, due in no small part, I'm sure, by me murdering pretty much everything that lives, breeds, smells in this area. Good riddance, I'd say. Did I bring a fishing rod with me? I did not? Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> no bands have respawned over here in the entrance to the marsh. Hmm. 
They shall not be spared my wrath otherwise. That doesn't look familiar to me. Have I been here before? Looks like a bunch of destroyed robots. Definitely don't remember this area. If I did, I would have remembered it. More traps for the journey, though. If I ever need to cheese anything, this will be quite helpful. But is it really cheesing? This game is very brutal and unforgiving. Is that cash? Yes, it is. An iron mace, some seaweed, and a mana stone. I can sell the iron mace in the next location for monies, but the problem is it's quite expensive. It's quite heavy, I mean. Not expensive, heavy. It's very heavy. There we go. And I know I'm just going to... I'm going to end up killing a dinosaur or two on the way to the next town. And sell their parts for money. Oh, shit. Alright, let's do this. Fuck it. Excuse me, chat. Going to kick ass and take names really quick. Oh, are you fucking serious? I'm overweight. I'm really dumb. I did not think this through. Alright, fine. Thankfully, these things are pretty... These guys should be fairly easy to defeat, if I'm not being dumb. That could have totally ended in my death just now, because of my carelessness. Thankfully, it ended up in their deaths first. In spite of my carelessness. Yeah, that was going to happen eventually. Still very overweight. But, I was able to reach my bag. Can't tear this apart for anything. Fifteen point six. Okay. Need to use one of those anyway. Twelve point one. Fine. Put all the traps in there. Shit, man. Why so heavy? Put those in there as well. Okay. We are no longer overweight. I should probably just take out the mouth of my bow and arrow. I wasn't thinking straight. Got a little too bloodlusty just then. Nevertheless, we are here. Entering the marsh. Can I use a... Quite a bit of my rations to get here anyway. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to use three. Shit. Why did I bring 30 travel rations with me? <laughs> I wonder how you go to Harmaxon.
been a long time since I've been back here. This can be a fun trip. I need to get from here to up there. Should be one straight line following the Pilgrim's Road. That's never as easy as it appears. What time is it 10 in the morning? We should be able to get there before tonight, right? Assuming I don't go off on an adventure and uh, get myself lost and or killed. Oh, these guys are back. There's dinosaurs. Thankfully, they can be avoided or snuck around. For now, I shall attempt to just walk around them. So I really don't feel like fighting them right now. They can be quite aggressive, mostly if you go after them, but... Hope he's not following me. Let's try not to get lost. The marsh is very dangerous in the evening, because you literally cannot see for shit. Now, I don't remember, were these plants venomous? Nope. Is that the temple of the wind god in this area? Let's say hi to it really quick. Always get to pay your respects, you know. I think it is. Yeah, it's already been activated. I must have visited here earlier. I'm already winded. Man, I'm overweight again. Not good. A compromise then. I'll take off the boots and the helmet, but I'll keep the chest piece on. We really have to head it up. Head to to head, head. I had a kind of had a glitch out just then. We kind of need to head to the city before nightfall. Assuming I didn't get lost. I think I already got lost again because you're supposed to be following those markers there. Oh boy, some bandits. Marsh bandits. Gotta love them. Marshmallows are really that heavy, huh? Three pounds each? Heresy. Getting past these bandits is going to be a pain in the ass otherwise, so we might as well go ahead and kill them and sell their bodies. I need to get back used to fighting these guys anyway. Shit, that thing has a maximum range? What about the sniper shot? That one does too. On the other side, other hand, maybe we could just walk past them since I'm dumb. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Sometimes the AI in this game is a beautiful thing. It's amazing how different this game looks like in the in the daytime and evening. It's only 12 in the afternoon and it looks so dark. Is it about to rain? Balls! Okay. Guess we're doing this after all. Eat crippled, bitch! Um, how do I select a different enemy? I want to fight the guy that's already wounded, damn it. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was easy.
I'm already out of stamina. It's not a good feel. Bleed to death, motherfucker. Uh-oh, if I don't bleed to death first... I might be able to outlast him. We'll see. Yep, managed to impact him to death. Cool. Loot his corpse. Okay. Iron axes. Uh, iron great hammer. Garbage. Actual garbage. I'm not that overweight yet, so I could afford to continue onward still. But it's not looking... This is always kind of dangerous, you know? Also, I'm getting hungry. Need to eat. Need to eat. Let me eat! Okay. 100. Why does this weigh so much? God damn. Okay. Oh, shit. There's another one of you. Why? Damn it. One second. Are you trying to shoot me? Is that what's going on right now? Oh, you bitch! Fine, okay, fine. We'll do this the hard way. Did I? Uh... I didn't even see myself fucking. How long has it been since I died? I guess I did die to the uh, corruption beast earlier. Please, they dragged me to Monsoon. Better than nothing. That saves me a trip and a half. Alright. Where are our destination, chat? This is where we were supposed to. where I was going. Yay. Rip is right. What can you do sometime? Let's look on the bright side of life. It saved me a trip. We're gonna go ahead and sell our junk off. It is very pretty, isn't it? Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Buy all my garbage from me, please. Wait, why are you giving me such lowball offers for this stuff? Come on. Oh well. I guess I can't complain. He can't, uh, can't demand to see his manager. My alpha jerky is starting to spoil. I need to bring this to the guy in Levant. But I can't do that if it spoils. My meat stew is spoiling too. Is it because I died and got dragged over? It is, but isn't it? That's the reason. Uh. Oh well. Let's see, buy all my garbage, my good sir. Yeah, I need to rush. For sure. Greetings, friend. I need to sell my gold bars to you, my dude, so I can make some money, so I can, um, purchase some of my new skills. Alright, 513, that should do. Now then, let's start on our path to becoming a true Jedi Knight. This is it, I'm going to be using one of my breakthrough points for the first time in, the fir in 50 hours of playing this game. See, steadfast ascetic. Does this not look like a lightsaber? That that does this not look like a lightsaber? It even has like it's, it's even a katana. You can't even get a katana in this game. I don't think. That's look at that. 
It cuts through defenses and flash onslaught. Let me look at this cool shit. Completely block a physical attack, striking the attacker and dealing high damage. That's wonderful. Glorious, Steven. So yeah, I'm totally becoming a steadfast ascetic. There we go. You increase your maximum stamina by 40. And I have a lot more where that came from. Greetings, friend. I want to train with you. Hmm. Oh, this makes you immune to damage, huh? That's cool. If you want to become a philosopher anyway. I will not for this moment. Right now, I'm mostly interested in learning all this person's Amen. skills. Including, I got all this stuff here. But warrior monks are basically Jedi. I'm going to go ahead... Why? I guess I don't really need that. I can just eat this marshmallow really quick. Anti-poison properties? Let's go uh, stop by a shopkeeper really quick. So I can convert more of my bars into silver, and then use that to buy even more skills. And then I'll be broke again. But at least I'll be clo at least I'll be a lot stronger. Alright. Have a good night, Lenarth. Thanks for coming. And always. What can I do for you? <laughs> Want to buy something? So I can make, this guy can make palladium stuff for me, huh? And it doesn't cost him much, it just requires palladium scraps. That's cool. What can I do for you? I need to think about getting some palladium equipment from him. Give me all of your gold. No, I mean, let me... Buy all of my gold bars, please. Thank you. Um, let me sell some of my stuff here, too. All right. Cool. So, uh... Go back to the monsoon streets. What else are we going to learn? Master of Motion? This causes pain. And you can use it with any melee weapon, which is really cool. Increased damage, huh? Hmm. So the, this is basically a counter weapon, a counter attack, as the name implies, counter strike. If I use this one, 
I'm a lot stronger and I have a reason to spam discipline. So that's very useful. This one goes through people's defenses, which is also kind of amazing. I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm kind of a loss here. I have a lot of arrows. Shit, do I have a lot of arrows. <laughs> You don't care hey for that. small talk? Okay. Yeah. Perfect strike's probably best, but then again, I don't know. Do I want the ranger skills instead? Greetings, friend. Do I use this? This requires magic. I don't really use check rooms at the moment. This is cool, though. Just the fact that it prevents you from taking damage for a very short period of time. Hey there. Ow. Thanks for throwing something at my face, friend. I was trying to nod off there for a second. Yeah, like just then, you mean? You attacked twice in a row, too, and even. Meanie. I'll get uh, that requires discipline, doesn't it? Master of motion. That way, read this quick slot up. Put this. Eh, we'll keep race. Fuck it. Ow! What was that for just then? I'm almost wondering if maybe I should just say fuck it and try and run uh, to, to the Levant Desert right now. So I can deliver this alpha jerky before it spoils. But it's a very far trip, so unless I like... Hey, the Soroborians just take me there. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. But then again, I've never done fast travel in this game, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. 
Maybe it won't be that big of a deal. Maybe it will be. I guess Greetings, save thing. Yes. Oh. He takes you to Harmatan, a diff completely different location. Okay. Well, I don't want to go there right well, now. My friend. Instead, I want to see if I can get to back to Levant so I could turn in this alpha jerky before it spoils. The only way I could see myself doing that is if I avoid fighting literally everyone in this game and just run straight there. No breaks. Greetings, friend. I guess it's not the worst thing, right? Good thing I can just restore burnt stamina. Not that much, though. Wow, not that much at all, actually. Shit. Um, hmm. Alright, here we go. This is probably gonna go terribly for me, but you know what? It couldn't possibly be worse than how I'm doing right now. I don't think. We'll probably be fine, right? Maybe. Totally. Totally. It's gonna suck if I manage to get to Levant only to find that my Alpha Jerky is spoiled after all. How do I get there again? Hal Marsh, City Monsoon, Emrakor Forest, Chersun Nice. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I don't think I can get to Emrakor Forest from here. Yeah, there's a big gate preventing you from going there. The only way I could see it working is if I go all the way back down to Jersonese, go a little bit further south, and then go into the... Oh my god. I might be better off just killing some alpha deer. Stripping their bodies and making more new jerky, and then. Ah. Well, let's see how this goes, I guess. Really wish I had some stuff I can eat to reduce my stamina. Or to improve my stamina, too. And having to fight through all these, all these dinosaurs again. Just like how they say that all VTuber streams are scuffed, there is no adventure that Laws goes on that is not scuffed. We shall make an attempt though. Always gotta make an attempt. Hey Caradrine! How you doing? Thank you so much for the lurk! Right now, I'm on a very scuffed adventure, but I hope you'll enjoy yourself nonetheless. This. It took a long time, but I finally have started my road to becoming a Jedi Knight proper in this game. I'm not doing a very good job, as it is. Indeed we do. To give you an idea of how scuffed we are... Alright, so... 
There's a crazy homeless man that lives in a jar. He requested I bring him alpha jerky. I have some alpha jerky, but it's starting to spoil. I'm stuck here in this uh, marsh that's covered in dinosaurs. And I thought I could make it to the desert from going to this passage, but it's locked off here by a magical barrier. So I have to run all the way down here, back to the starting area, and then I have to go from there to the desert area. And then I need to travel through a desert to get to the city, and then I have to find the homeless man somewhere in the slums to give him a piece of jerky. That's my current quest right now. Because originally, my quest was to get to here, to this location, to this to this city, to start on my path to become a Jedi Knight. Which I just did, and now I'm out of money. So what am I supposed to do? Well, the only thing I can do right now is the quest I just described to you. Well, I mean, if we wash it off with some swamp water, he'll never notice it's spoiled. That's very true. Um, and thankfully, there are no real moral choices in this game, so I could probably get away with that. But I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I'm totally lost, and it's getting dark. Fuck. I, I took a wrong turn <laughs> somewhere. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's no minimap in this game. You need to navigate your way through um, through landmarks such as that giant glowing thing of light and the uh, giant plants everywhere and these mushrooms I think I've re I think I've found the correct direction we have to go south we have to follow these things I'd really like to get out of the marsh before it gets too dark because the marsh Fucking sucks at nighttime, let me tell you. No. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. For fuck's sake. Oh, great. And bandits, too. That's just what I need. Unless they're gonna fight the dinosaurs? No, they're chasing after me. Oh boy, indeed. And I don't have any more uh, bitter teas to restore my stamina. So I'm about to run out of uh, energy fairly soon. And since it's getting dark, I'm in danger of getting lost again. We must continue running. And it's starting to rain. When it rains, it pours. Ah! More bandits. Oh. They appear to be fighting the dinosaurs. What luck. Now then, let us continue running south in a southward direction. Unexpected friendships, indeed. Now, there's only one of them fights to me. If I wasn't low in stamina right now, I'd probably try to fight this one dinosaur. And I probably could win, but I don't have any... Oh, fuck me! Oh. Check it out. That dinosaur is fighting, that di is fighting them too. If I'm lucky, he's gonna end up... Okay. <laughs> oh, we did it, chap! We managed to escape. If I wanted to be greedy, I could go back there and loot the corpse after it's done killing that dinosaur, but I don't have any room in my pack right now anyway. I should prob- I'm really afraid to go to sleep. Because if I go to sleep, it's gonna- time is gonna pass, and if time passes, the alpha jerky is gonna spoil quicker, especially in Chersony- especially in this marsh location, where it's really humid, and there's a lot of bacteria in the air and stuff. If I get to Chersonese, it's gonna be cold, which makes food- spoil slower. Yes, that's right, folks. This game has thought of everything. Loot the bag. And I'll leave the bullets. No, I'm overweight again because I picked up some bandages. Bandages are really expensive, obviously. Come on. There. Okay. 
And you know what? I do have some restoratives, actually. I do have a bit of max. Okay, that works for a time being. I need to bring the. I need to. I need to make it to the desert. All right. Thank you so much for the lurk. Have a good nap, Carajin. How do I get over there again? Am I lost? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm always lost in this game. Oh, I just contracted deadly poison. I don't have any... Uh, do I have any anti... Can I just not die of poison? Please? Okay, at least I'm not dying anymore. That's good enough, I guess. That's what I get for trying to take a shortcut. Am I even going in the right direction? There it is. There's where I need to go. More delicious marshmallows. Come here, you. I totally forgot that marshmallows are actually anti-poison. That would have solved me a lot of trouble just now. But I insist on doing things the hard way, so... I'm also lost again. There's the moon. Where am I anyway? Alright, so... We're going west, right? But where is the... Shit, where's the road? No, I don't want to head back to the city. I want to head away from the city. There it is. That's where I need to go. Hmm. I keep pernoically looking at my alpha jerky to see if it's spoiled yet or not. At this rate, I'm probably going to end up having to kill some deer anyway. Honestly. So dark. Not a fucking again. It's alright, I see the exit. We can just sprint the rest of the way there. Eat my dust, assholes. Awesome, we're gonna make it. We made it back to Serzo, but at what cost? I really hope my alpha jerky didn't spoil in this trans scene transition. At least I know how to get to Harmaton now. I didn't realize you have to actually, like, speak to a Sorbori and you can't just walk there on your own. No! Fuck! 
The alpha jerky is rotted and so did my meat stews. Or one of my meat stews. Great. That that's just that's just great. Thanks, game. Well, I guess I'd rather be in Chersonese than the marsh. It's easier to deal with. And I didn't plan this, but I guess we are going, in fact, to end Mercury Forest to kill some deer. Let's go to sleep for now, though. Fuck it. We might as well. Is it getting cold again? Don't tell me it's snowing again in Chersonese. We're gonna freeze to death. I didn't pack any cold weather gear. Hmm. Disease cold has been contracted. The rest of my stew is melted and I am... I have a cold. It's not even snowing right now. I guess it's the evenings that are cold, huh? What a beautiful day, though. Why does it feel like I'm carrying so much? Is it because of all these bloody arrows? At least my body temperature is back to normal. That's a relief. Wow, I actually have a lot of stamina. Huh. Looks like that breakthrough point was totally worth it. Stretching my back a little bit. Onwards to Enmerker Forest. Haven't been back here in a long time either. Shit, has it been two hours already? Oh, there goes my marshmallow. Time sure flies, doesn't it? Ah, I haven't been back here in a while. If it wasn't for the Blue Lantern Collective, I would probably have chosen to live here. I like force. I like, actually like force. <laughs> Onwards to the city of Berg.
Home to deadly ghosts. They're not that difficult to fight off, though. Hmm. Let us see. This game looks better than you expected. Hey, Jake. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? And uh, dare I, may I dare ask, what did you expect? Discipline didn't activate, did it? I was afraid of that. Man, I don't remember this guy being so difficult. These are supposed to be the basic ghosts, too. I wonder if it's because I'm not using any spells. Do I really not have, not, not have enough stamina for this? Shit. Maybe this was a terrible idea after all. And why does it keep saying... Why does it keep giving me the option to use the shield bash if I don't have enough stamina for it? Oh no, you did not fucking glitch on me, game. Uh, one second. More like better than Skyrim level graphics. Uh, let's see if it fixes itself when I respawn in. If not, I'm going to be kind of angry. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Oh, huh. Alright, cool. It's still the, uh. It's on glitch now, cool. If I run around in a circle, he can't actually stab me. Because his lunge is not very good. So I just need to keep doing this for a little bit while I regain my stamina. Ow. I did not think this tactic all the way through. I should probably just run. Fuck it. Or bats, I guess. One second. I know how to deal with this. By dying, sure. Yeah. 50 hours in this game and I still don't know how to fight, how to beat even the most basic monsters. How am I supposed to kill a horror this way? Let's see where I end up respawning. Oh. I end up getting saved by an Immaculate. Where am I? Who am I? 
And to think, I had to go find this guy earlier. Who are you? I'm on a journey. I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to see all that this world has to offer. I would like to be free of these instinctual shackles. If I never had to harm another person or beast again, I would be content. You seem to enjoy reading a lot. Yes, the knowledge from humans long gone since gone is quite valuable, and the way your kind makes fake history stories for the purpose of amusement, it is a comfort to me on the lonely road that I walk. See, he's a relatively nice person. I'm just readjusting my um, leap motion camera here because it broke earlier today before the stream started. But I found I could still wear it. Even though it's busted. <laughs> Do I have a debuff on me right now? Oh yeah, I'm possessed. Decay damage and resistance is plus 20%. He will, however, allow me to check through his chest for cool stuff. Including a simple tent, firestone, cleaver halberd, and dark varnish. I need to sell some of this stuff to basically recover all that I've lost just to get to this location. I need to make a stop by Berg anyway. What time is it right now? Four in the afternoon. Back to Enmorker Forest. <laughs> Put out. Supply cash. I think I may have one too many arrows, don't you think? Oh no. More corruption beasts. Buying those things is such a pain in the ass. I'm trying to avoid them this time. Wow. That's the most you That's the most unique weapon I've seen so far. Living wood app. Now it's close. We must flee. We'll not fight them today. Sorry, buddy. Huh. And as you can see here, I appear to be fence running. Shit, why are there so many of these things here? Where are we? I sure as hell wish I knew. I think I've gone far enough away. Little shrooms. No crispice beetle. Possibly sanctuary inside this still moving mill for some reason. Funny thing that 
The people are gone, but the mill itself still stands. Very interesting. Mana cost plus 10 is 10%. It deals 24 damage altogether. Doesn't inflict bleeding though, but has a much faster attack speed. Does 20 impact. This is really nice. Ooh, it looks really nice too. My Fang Axe had a good run, but this, this is lovely. So you know, maybe that journey, maybe that journey, or that missed journey, I should say, was not so bad. I ended up getting something out of it, in spite of my own uh, carelessness getting us uh, kind of uh, endangered for a bit there. Let's go see if there's anyone living in this temple right now. There's. The last time I visited one of these, I had an unexpected surprise, a horror living in it. And I'm curious if the one back home was the only one that had living people in it still. We're over here right now, the Cabal of the Wind Tower. Looks like it's a ruin though, so who knows, maybe it's empty? Be nice to meet other living humans in one of these things for once. Is all my food gone? Did it all rot away? Looks like the answer might be yes. That's unfortunate. At least I got some water. It's an immaculate. Were they the ones who were responsible for destroying the wind tower? I wonder if I can even fight that thing as I am right now. I'm going to guess no, but wouldn't be funny if we tried anyway. There's only one of them, right? Something tells me this is a terrible idea. But this stream is meant for terrible ideas, you know? Oh, fuck! Hey, he didn't do that much damage. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. But I still want to cheese him anyway, because... I don't try- He can outrun me. I think I lost him. Alright, I lost him. Cool. Um. Um. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Um. Oh, so he's just stuck down there? Okay. I do. I am curious now what he will give me if I kill, manage to defeat him. Setting up nothing but spike traps. That's the first immaculate I've found that I was actually hostile to me. Honestly. Why the fuck not? I'm 
glad I got some of these things. Make some more spike traps for me, would you please? No. Manual recipe. Okay, so that's good for something. After all... Oh. Well, this is awkward. Hey there. Yeah, I didn't do much damage to him, did it? No, it did not. I should probably, um... Should probably... Use this. Alright. Oh, lightning magic actually helps a lot in this case, doesn't it? Ah, I actually won! It sure took a lot of my health and stamina, but I did eventually manage to defeat an Immaculate. I'm glad I at least managed to get at least one achievement this uh, session. It still took a bunch of, um, still took several traps, but he still managed to kick my ass a little bit there. Now to continue my original reason for being here, to see if anyone lives in this Cabal of the Wind Temple. Looks like the only way to enter is through this bottom, though. That's totally not sus at all. We're going dungeon diving, chat. What the? Well, that was very unexpected. Oh! Gross. The Cabal of the Wind Temple is infested with uh, stuff in it. You got, um... That's uh, no good. I can't even fight that thing. As I am right now. I wonder if I should leave. Stuff like this is really pushing me to believe that maybe magic is necessary to succeed in this game, you know? Let's not fall to our deaths. Alright. We're going to save this dungeon run for later. When I get better equipment, better skills, maybe more stamina and health, and maybe some magic. Maybe I should invest in guns, too. Nope, you better stay dead. Alright, so we are over here. We want to be over there. But let's go to sleep for now. Yeah, thanks for the... If you, thanks for throwing something at me, Frankenstein. Why am I getting cold? It's not that cold. There you go.
now then. We're gonna go from here. We're gonna try and follow the road to the best of my ability. It will not be an easy road. But it must be walked. Fine, fine, fine. All right, I guess we're doing it this way. I'm out of food, too. So, I can't really... Hmm. I really did not think this trip through, did I? Do I at least have my rations? Yeah, I do. Yes, you are, Frankenstein. Yes, you are. Can I just go... I guess I could just go straight north. It was a nice day today. What in the world is that? Why is there a tree that's on fire? Ruined settlement, it says. Well, how about we unruin that settlement, huh? That sound like a good plan, chat? I'm not even sure we could fight that thing, but... Might as well try, I guess. Ooh, I got a small sapphire. How many spike? I need more? Alright. I'm honestly kind of intrigued. By what that fire creature is over there. And how I would go about killing him. Indeed, can he be killed? Why am I making... God damn it. Oh my god. This game. Great. Thanks. He's coming in this direction. We don't have time. We'll need to... Set our traps immediately. If I have... Where are my traps? He's fairly far away, but you can never trust uh, when their danger sense is going to kick in. When they're going to actually notice you. It's probably best to just always expect them to notice you and just not have anything to do with you until the last minute. That almost actually hit, but it's not what I wanted to do, is it? That also missed somehow. It looks like a zombie almost. Probably it is. Good thing I have so many arrows. 
I don't think he's gonna make it here though. I think he's going to actually hit the traps first and die from those. Oh! He just totally tried to set me on fire just now, didn't he? That was an interesting burning man. Huh. Well, well, well. Man, I cannot get enough of this music either. All the music in this game is great, honestly. Why is there a burning tree here anyway? I know the game said that there's a ruined settlement in this area, but... I mean... That's a big tree to set on fire, eh? Gather smoke roots. Gather wood from a burning tree? Interesting. Looks like there's more burning men over there. I mean, that's what they mean by ruined settlement. Sure took him a while to notice, didn't it? Burning zombies. Good to meet something that actually dies to arrows again. It's been a while, you know. I feel like I'm doing this town a favor. What's left of the town, anyway? Did it not work? I wonder how much this sells for in town, incidentally. Gather petrified wood? What do you use this for? Why is the wood already petrified? Mineral components used by the blacksmiths of Berg to craft an unusual set of armor? Really? So they make an armor out of petrified wood. Actually sounds kind of interesting. Ooh, what's this? Palladium veins. Don't mind if I do. This must be the ruined town that the old man spoke of. Not an actual ruined town, of course, but... I guess this is what we're doing for the rest of ch chat tonight. Our chat and our rest of stream tonight, chat. Cleaning out some zombies. Definitely not finding these things in hand to hand combat. Are you kidding? There we go. Loot the Burning Man. The corpse of- it feels like the Burning Man corpses are a metaphor for the corpse of what used to be known as the Burning Man event. Which used to be super anti-corporate -corpor and anti-capitalist, but now is, um, something else entirely. Man, what happened to this town? There's very little lore actually written down in this game that you could actually, like, read. All of it, a lot of it is just assumptions that you make over the course of the game. And gather petrified wood. It 
Something tells me this wood was not naturally petrified. You know, just a hint. Oh! Oh! Oh, uh... Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, god! Um... Yeah! We are definitely cheesing that one. Fuck that. Noise. <laughs> and with that, I'm out of traps. All right, let's uh, annoy this bugger. He was just minding his own business, waltzing around, being on fire. Yep. Just going to annoy the demon antler person. Oh, actually took a decent amount of damage from all that, huh? I think he's going to end up dying before he even... Homing fireballs? What the fuck is this shit? And he said, Obsidian Elemental. I got a great hammer from that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is this? Wow. Yeah, I'd be confused too if I was hidden the head with this thing. I'm not selling this. This is too nice. That was too cool. Enter the burnt outpost. You know, for a burnt outpost, this is in pretty good condition. It's pretty nice here, actually. I wonder how big this outpost is. Oh, it's empty. Except for a corpse or two. What do we have to loot in here? Arcane robes, rage potion, needle tea, crystal powder. So, okay, mostly magical stuff. What are these? Firestones. Okay. And what do we have over here? Uh, various petrified woods, explorer's lantern. Not bad, not a bad haul at all. I won't be able to take all this stuff. I'll have to drop some of it, but... Yeah, that was a fairly decent... This is a fairly decent um, haul for today's adventure, I guess. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of this outpost before we leave, though. Just to make sure we got everything. Already, we're over here, and I have discovered some wool shrooms. Gather the wool shrooms, yes, please.
<laughs> Still makes me wonder what calamity befell this area, which turned everyone into burning zombies and turned an antelope into um, a burning antelope thing. Curious and curioser, really. But the spoils are mine to take home. And what spoils they are. I could really use some food. Among other things. An unusual set of armor, huh? Where are we? Alright. So I guess we should continue northward. We still need to get to Berg, damn it. Where am I? Huge burning tree! I went the completely wrong direction. I went south. Shit. Okay. Fine, we'll go to the actual uh, ruined settlement that's over there to the top right, apparently. Already know how to do that. Yes, game, I'm aware I'm overweight. Don't need to keep reminding me about it. An iron claymore, star mushroom, astral potion. Ah, this must be a safe zone. I am curious what those giant uh, cocoon, what those giant um, hives have in them, to be honest. But not right now. Right now, I want to get to the city of Berg. Besides, whatever lives there cannot be friendly. You know what? Just, just cannot be friendly. While I'm down here, though, I guess I might as well pick up some more petrified wood pieces, right? So I can craft a interesting set of armor. Oh! Don't want to find any bandits right now. Thanks. Thanks. Leave. Leave me alone. If you get any closer, I'm going to kick your ass yet. Why do they always choose the hard way? Hey. There's five of them. I wonder if I could take them. I got 14 minutes left for today's session. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I could probably cheese them, but... Nah. I'll kill them later. Oh, fuck! That's dumb. Fine. <laughs> okay, that was, that was, that was actually kind of entertaining. Not gonna lie. As it turns out, this hammer does a shit ton of damage. Of blunt damage. Did you see that ragdoll? Oh my god. Oh, that's glorious. Is there anything in your body that's worth taking? I can sell these hats for a lot of money.
think I might just have to tear these things apart for materials. There's no other way around it. As much as I would like to sell these things, I just can't afford to do so right now. I'm really overweight right now. It's not looking good, chat. I really need to get to town. Berg is so far away. I get so easily distracted by all these other cool things to loot. What's down here? Did this used to be the entrance to a settlement? Oh. You know, it makes a lot of sense. And let me open a supply cache, please. Okay. Ah, who goes there? Thanks for resubbing in, Ace. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Um, I'm actually not doing so great. Uh, I kind of fucked up a few times during the stream today. But if we are staying positive, I did manage to... One second. I did manage to uh, kill some new monsters, such as a burning deer. It gave me this cool-looking giant-ass uh, warhammer, which is really just a bunch of rocks, obsidian rocks stuck together. I just bashed some mages' heads in. Um, those bandits are looking to see who killed their friends. I need to walk away from them. Um, right now, I'm trying to find my way back home. I need to. I need to head to the city of Berg. I keep getting distracted by all these petrified trees, which I'm looting. Like that. But I did manage to start my gym and night training. Yeah, burning deer. It's it was legit. It was uh it was fire. Huh? Huh? Drum drum roll? <laughs> get it get it. that was a terrible joke. Um Yeah, but we need to head to Berg we need to head to the city of Berg to acquire some Berg because I don't have any food. All my food is rotted. Because I got my ass handed to me by dinosaurs again in the marsh. Ow. Thanks for the throw redeem. Hey, still. Hey! I'll have you know that it took all my remaining brain cells to think of that joke. You best appreciate it because that's going to be the best joke we'll have in a while, aside from my life. That, that, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm running off steam right now. I'm, I, I'm kind of smoldering right now. <clears throat> uh, I don't so anyway, um, we need to head back to Berg to recuperate. Um, when I managed to make it to the city of to ow, 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 I managed to make it to the city of Berg, city of monsoon earlier, and I started my Jedi Knight training. And the first thing on the docket was to increase my stamina by forty. So that's in, that's uh, made things a little bit easier with regard to like. Uh, how long I can go before disaster strikes. I'm kind of low in cash. I also got to fight and defeat my first Immaculate, which is really cool. Had to spend all my traps doing that. And I also found this, uh, found this cool little hatchet here. That's made out of wood. It's made out of living wood, in fact. Oh, my fuck! What the shit is that? What what is that? Oh my god. Spoo I'm I'm too spooked. I'm gonna cheat again. Where's my firepower? I'm trying to rub fire magic all over my burning obsidian thing jigger. What is that thing? What what are these? Okay, uh, good news. They were fairly... That was actually a fairly easy to... That was actually fairly easy. Huh. Walking hive? So, we got some occult... We're going to harvest some occult remains from these walking hives. That wasn't so bad, actually. A tattered hood here. Gonna tear that apart for pizza. Spooky, scary skeletons.
Well, that was enjoyable. We continue on our journey to head here to the city of Berg. Or in, this, in that general direction. I literally don't have any room to carry more crap with me, so I need to... I need to... I really need to stop. I, I need to stop killing people and looting their bodies. I need to head to town so I can sell all this garbage. Except for this beautiful thing. This pyroid great hammer. Which inflicts confusion on enemies that I stole, totally took from... The corpse of a burning deer. An obsidian deer, no less. I even have the obsidian to prove it. Right, uh... Right here. Obsidian shards. I don't know what those spooky, scary skeletons are trying to do to me, but I think they are trying to attract, to attack me with bees. Unfortunately, it appears that my armor is quite resistant to bee attacks. Oh, what fresh hell is that? Oh, it's a giant. We are avoiding the giant. We must continue heading in the general direction of wherever the hell town is so I can unload all my garbage if, if I could find where the hell town is where am I? I don't see the pylon anywhere Okay, um, I'm, I'm lost again. Fuck me. I wonder if that's town right there, actually. Okay, so there's Vigil Pylon, so... Okay. I need to cross the river to get into town, because it's, it's uh, protected by a natural moat. Which is right there, I think. I think this is the moat. Yeah, I think the town's like right there, isn't it? We might just make it in time. I got five minutes until the end of the stream. There it is. There's the bridge to Terabithia. Ow. Okay. Almost there. Almost there, chat. If I can make it there without distractions, we should be just fine. We should be able to make it. There better not be any more ooh shinies on the way there. I must not... I must not diverge my path to fight the bandits. Come on. We're almost there. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. On all my bad session today. You know, in spite of some scuffness going on, but I guess that's just to be expected in a game like this sometimes. Including the time I had to actually start the game because my abilities glitched out again and it wouldn't activate. Hate when that happens. If it wasn't for the blue blue person collective, I would have totally joined this uh this faction. We are now in the city of Burger. I can't believe the United States has returned to Monkey. If I recall correctly, this was also a very unoptimized area, isn't it? Really laggy. Ah, oh, shit. There goes the. Here comes the lag. Yep. Called it. Ah, fuck. Even with a 10 3080, it's laggy. Some things just don't change. Stop, for fuck's sake. Come on. Come on. Okay. 
What can Ow. I do for you? Uh, thank you for the... Yet another attack. This is really cheap. I didn't realize. Oh my god. I don't want to use Survivor's Resilience though. Because as much as I like this... I would much rather use my skills... For freaking... I would much more rather use my my uh, breakthrough points for you know force sensitive stuff, right? This worries me. Yes. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, my friend. Adventure armor. All right. Wow, he pays a. Blue hats are actually worth a lot, a hundred, a sixty gold each, or sixty silver each, I should say. All right, so now that here we're here, let's go ahead and sell our stuff, right? To the blacksmith, to the the lag is so bad that I can't even escape the map. Okay. Okay, stop moving. God damn it. Stop moving. Thank you. Tell let me talk to Teleron for fuck's sake. Please let me talk to Teleron. Game. What can I do for you? Listen. What can I do for you? Listen. A mace infusion technique for 50 silvers. Can't even afford that right now. Hey there. Need something? Petrified wood armor set? This is so cheap. Why did I even bother buying blue armor if I could just... Getting blue armor if I could just get this? Wow. Um, hey there. browse the shop, and I need to sell all my garbage to you. Petrified wood goes for a lot, doesn't it? And hold on to Palladium, though, because that's kind of hard to get. Don't need that. Don't need- I already have an arcane robe at home, so I definitely don't need that either. As cool as it is. Wow. This is- I'm actually making bank. Well, not including this, I guess. Don't need an old legion shield. Hmm. That's interesting. Runic armor. This is really good stuff, actually. Coral, a better bow? A 
A horror shield, huh? Fang shield, fang sword, horror bow. So this is for fighting horrors, I'm sure, but I don't have that much in the way of horror weaponry. I wonder what the Coral Horn bow is made from. I definitely need a better bow than what I got right now, so... Definitely buy one of those. Alright. Hey there! Craft me something. Need something. Let's go ahead and make some petrified wood armor. Um, go ahead and make some petrified armor. Yes. See ya. So, 600 silvers. Coral horn bow recipe has been learned. Alright, what's the coral horn bow made from? Where the fuck is, do I find a, find a coral horn then? Wow, that's actually a really good bow too. I'm assuming the Coral Horn must be some sort of, you know, a deer creature of some kind, right? Hmm. Man, this is this area is lagging so much. I almost feel like I need to turn off my model just to play in Berg. It's so bad. Like, look at this. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Stop moving, please. How can I help you? What can you sell me? Anything of value? No? I guess not. Alright. Want to buy something? Ay, ay, ay. I already know how to make alpha how to make an alpha sandwich. To remove poisons. Eh. We'll figure this out later. Go back. To the main menu. Speaking of food, I'm actually getting really hungry in real life in Meat Space World. Thank you everyone for coming today today's stream in spite of the scuff and also for BT for uh, finishing the LOL's sheer heart attack challenge. I will be accepting submissions for what horror game y'all would like me to play. And then once we've gathered a few number of submissions, we'll go ahead and put them to vote on both Twitter and on Discord. Indeed. Uh, before you guys go, let's go ahead and raid someone tonight as well. Let me see who's online to raid. If you all have any suggestions, feel free to let me know too. I have a lot of YouTuber friends who are quite small, so I like uh, choosing one of them if possible, but it's not, ne not strictly necessary. Hmm. What do you got going on here? You know a small streamer who could use some help? Who are they? He's kind of weird though, huh? Are you preparing? Are you setting up a joke? German 90... Ace. Come on. I know who German is. Oh, <laughs> uh, nice try, though. That'd be kind of funny if we accidentally got some of uh, German's families to stop by, stop by over here, wouldn't it? That's... Hmm. Stop. It's not like time 
this drop of blood. Doubt? Yeah, the doubt is real, I agree. Hmm. Where am I going to send you all to? Oh. There's actually quite a few choices. I know who I'll send you all to. We're going to go ahead and send you all to Stray Techman. Stray Techman's currently playing Heartspace Shipbreaker. They are also a small streamer, like such as myself. I have not gotten a chance to see many of their streams, which is another reason why I'm sending you to them. But also, they are kind of a meme lord, such as myself. And we meme lords have to stick together, you know? Raid message shall be Scuff Raid this time. Or you can do Lulz Raid, whichever comes for it, whichever you like. Y'all can use either this one, or you can make one up yourself, or use your own emojis. Those should be free emojis, though, so I think they should work. Heavy emphasis on the think, though. I noticed that when I use free emotes in these uh, raid messages, they don't they fail when you actually get sent over. So if you want to use a subscriber, if you want to use a subscriber emote, you could use this one too. We're gonna be heading out in a few seconds. Let's watch what they're doing right there, right now. Oh, I wonder if they're actually heading out already. So that would be fun. I blame all my deaths on you because you are new. Keep telling yourself that. Anyway, uh, let's find someone to rent the place. Let's see who's online. Are there people who are online? Oh my god, Lolan has invaded with six viewers right as we were about to go. I'm so sorry. Oh, paragraph protection. I'm sorry. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Lucas on timeout, that guy. Ah, Obasan is streaming? Okay, we can raid Obasan. Welcome, raiders. Oh, man. I, I really, I really wish I could go longer, but I can't. Thank you. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. I swear to God. I, I, I'm sorry. The paragraph protection, if it's too long, it kicks in. I gotta tweet that. I'm a bad streamer. Don't follow me. I'm worthless. <laughs> oh, God. They, they, just throw, they just get knocked out one after the other. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lost Time. I'm so sorry. 